five signs that histamine is causing your chronic gut and digestive issues. If you don't know me, I'm Hannah Ilward. I'm a functional gut health practitioner with 10 years of experience helping women overcome chronic digestive issues without living on crazy restrictive diets. Let's get into it. First off, what is histamine? Histamine is a signaling chemical that your immune system releases to send messages between different cells. Histamine overload occurs when we have an imbalance between the amount of histamine released and our ability to actually degrade it. Sign number one, you also have really painful periods and or you feel worse around ovulation. Histamine and estrogen dance together. Estrogen rises around ovulation, increasing that histamine release. Histamine can worsen cramps, mood, cause heavier bleeding, and even migraines. Sign number two, you also also have skin issues like rashes, hives, or itchy skin. Histamine binds to H1 receptors in the skin, which triggers itching. It also causes vasodilation, which can cause red patches. Histamine can also exacerbate inflammatory skin conditions or even mimic them. It can seem like eczema, but really you're having a histamine response. Number three, you also have sinus issues like nasal congestion, post-nasal drip, or even really bad allergies. Histamine can cause blood vessels in nasal passages to swell, which leads to a blocked or stuffy nose. It also stimulates mucus glands to produce more secretions, which can cause that runny nose or post nasal drip. Number four, you actually feel worse after eating these foods. Bone broth, avocado, collagen, fermented foods like sauerkraut or kombucha, and other foods like cured meats and cheeses, salami, pepperoni, parmesan. And number five, you also have the following. Brain fog, headaches or migraines, rapid heartbeat, anxiety, and or issue sleeping. So yes, we can reduce histamines in the diet, which can temporarily help reduce that histamine burden, but the real solution lies in identifying and addressing these deeper root causes to the histamine overload. If you want to learn more, make sure to check out episode 12 of the Nutrient Dense Podcast where I dive deep into signs, root causes, and actionable steps to take today to overcome histamine overload.